Good morning, everybody. I am up early. It is Thanksgiving Eve. I have the day off. My husband's at work. I can record in peace. <laughs> you know, he's a great guy, but sometimes when I'm trying to record, he's just right there, and it's just, I don't know. It's difficult. So I have a couple packages. This is one. Um, this came from my hobby store. So my hobby store just kind of popped up one day on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere. I don't know. I get stuff all the time. I don't know about you, but I get stuff popping up all the time. So I had to check out my hobby store. I did. So I should have in here three paintings. Now, they were one of these companies. They have this weird sizing thing going on. They had small, medium, large. So, it's really hard to tell what a small or a medium or a large was. So, uh, I believe one is a small and two are mediums. There are drills. Look at these are cool, you guys. They come in a bag. They come in a Ziploc bag. That's cool. Inventory sheet in here. Look, it's all been checked off and everything. Again, cool, all right? So we have three packages of drills over here. We'll save those until we figure out what the canvases are. They appear to be all rolled up together here in one roll. Okay. I have three toolkits. I have three paintings. All right, so. I have tweezers, bent nose tweezers, clear drill pen, white boat with a funnel, plate of wax, and a few baggies. Times three. One, two, three. Three paintings. All right. So these do have a little rubber band on them. You know, some people get weirded out about the rubber bands. I don't. I have never had a rubber band cause enough damage to a canvas to worry about. I just, I don't know. I'd rather they stay together, you know? I don't know. That's me. All right, so they are all rolled up in here together, and they are on, they, they are on a foam roller, <laughs> as you can tell. So they are covered with opaque paper, so that would be the tape method. Let's see if we can get these to just kind of unroll a little bit. And, um... Ooh, yep, they tight. Trying to roll gently. Roll gently. All right, I'm going to do something funny here. So just hold on. Funny. It is Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> I'm kind of ready. Ready for the holiday. Ready for the season. Let's see if that'll help us out. <laughs> My daughter's always telling me, Mom, you need some of those like weight things. And I'm like, what are you talking about weight things? She's like, yeah, they have like these weights. And I'm like, okay. I don't know. Bags, beans, I don't know. Yeah, because when these are rolled tight like this, it's like, ooh, baby. It's hard to get them undone. All right. Now, the, the little one, the little one keeps moving. The little one's causing me grief. Is this going to be heavy enough? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> let's do this. There we go. There we go. Let's see. What else can we do? We're going to just try to hold things down here a bit. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> nope, not so much. <laughs> well, that's a fail. Okay, failed experiment. Anyhow, it was fun trying. So, actually, the little gourd does help. <laughs> Let's just take this little guy out. And then we'll see what we can do over here with the rest of these guys. The gourd's actually not a bad idea. Look at he's working. He is working. Maybe if I turn it over. Let's see if we can turn it over and get him to sit on it. Because I can almost get him flattened out now. Almost. Okay, so medium. A medium appears to be like a 30 by 35. So they're not very big. Huh. And this one, this one's little. This one tiny. Alright. 20 by 25. So small is 20 by 25. Looks like medium is 30 by 35. Hmm. 
All right, this one was $5 and some change. These were $14.99. So, they're kind of small for $14.99 in my opinion. But it was hard to tell what the size was. Okay, so this one is a little penguin with a scarf. All right. He's got a few colors. Let's see. All right, let's just do it like this. Maybe. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. It's little. I think I can get this off here without tearing it. It's small. There we go. All right. So we have we have circles. We have training wheels, and they're black, even around the white. Not a fan of that. I don't think anybody is, but he's a little penguin as he unfolds here, unfurl the penguin. All right, so he's cute. All right, let's set him down. I can go a little further, and there's the little penguin. Little penguin, there he is. These round drills, of course. There he is. Um. Okay, and this looks really good. There's a couple little lines, but they're not bubbles or anything. So there's a little penguin. I like that it's on a blue background. I have one that's on a like solid white background. I like the blue. He's cute. He's small. He's cute. There he is. All right, looks good. Canvas looks great. No complaints about the canvas. All right, let's see if we can find his drills over here. His little package of drills. Here they are. I do. I love this. Look at the inventory sheet, and and the Ziploc baggie. It's awesome. Easy to keep them all in one spot. <clears throat> well, the drills are actually kind of tucked inside. Look, they're all kind of tucked in the paper. Look, there they are. <laughs> so, colors you would expect. Blue. Some white. More blues. Blues. Darker blue. And then we have reds and oranges. And more blues. Some grays. And there's some 310s. That's 310. So there's our colors. Pretty colors. I mean, it looked just like what they looked like on the picture, right? Some oranges for his beak and his feet. Reds for the hat. Whites. Browns, blacks, grays. Not brown. Blacks and grays. It's all been checked off. Look at, somebody went, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's funny. All right, and some directions at the bottom, how to diamond paint. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm just going to put all these back in the bag for now real quick so I don't lose any of them. I'll go with this painting, and I can always inventory later, and I will. I'll inventory when you guys are gone. Yeah. All right, so there's the little penguin. I don't know why I decided to say penguin. I never do that. Alright, let's get out another one. Oh, now look at this one. This one was also a medium, but look at He's a 20 by 35. Okay. The penguin is 20 by 25. This guy is 20 by 35. But he is the same price as this one over here, which is 30 by 35. They're all small. I'm really not happy with that. This was $14.99. I might have gotten something off the whole order for ordering three. I think I got a discount. Maybe I got the little one for free. I don't know. They're kind of pricey for being this size. So I guess to get something like a 40 by 50, you'd have to go with a large size. And I don't know how this one's going to turn out, because this one's pretty pretty detailed. 
in the picture, and I just don't know if I'm going to be happy with this one at all. So let's show you what it kind of looks like. It's hard to tell because it's a snowman. It's white. So it's kind of hard to tell. But there's like a little house over here. A house up on the hill. Then you got your snowman and some birds. Those red blobs are birds. <laughs> yeah, I thought this would be bigger than this. So I'm not real happy with that. The canvas looks really good. Like it does have some of those weird lines in it, you know, from the tape getting wrinkled, I think. I think it's just when the tape gets wrinkled with the paper and, and movement and stuff, it kind of gets lines in it. But there's no bubbles. It's smooth as can be, just some weird lines. Let me show you this image, because I really thought this would be cute. But at this size, I don't know, and I thought it would be bigger. I tried to get information from them about their sizing, and it just, I don't know, it wasn't working. So here's like a light bluish white. Here's our colors. We got some navy. It's like a navy. This is 154, it looks like, or black. No, maybe it's black. I don't know. It'd be great if I could tell what it was. Is there a num There's a number on there somewhere. Maybe. It's, it's there, but you can't see it. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I can't see it. You guys, I really can't. I don't know. Guess when I inventory, I'll figure out what that one is. The rest of them seem to be legible. Sort of. I wish that they put a light number on dark drills. That's what I wish. So this was the image that I chose. As you can see, I didn't see Merry Christmas on the sign. I'll have to look at that again. There's supposed to be a fence and the little cardinals and the little house. Does it have Merry Christmas on the sign? I didn't even see that. Did you see that? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, let's look at that. Here's my Merry Christmas, guys. What do you think? Uh, yeah, okay, not happy. Not happy with that. Okay. Well, the penguin will probably turn out, because the penguin's not very detailed. This I thought was going to be larger, and it's not. So this one, I'm not happy with. <laughs> Just not. All right. Let's check out the last one. The last one's something totally different. So I'll check out this one. But it's just a 30 by 35, and I thought it would be bigger than that. Seeing as how it was the medium size. And even if you went to the bottom, to the descriptions, to try to read it and figure it out, it it didn't make much sense. I have a message, and oh look, I just tore it. Of course. It's one piece, so I tore it. All right. We got those circles. I mean... They're all black, black lettering, black circles. A black lettering, black circles. They do have some color behind them, but I mean, the canvases look really good. The canvases are not messed up or there's no bubbles no rivers nothing like that i'm just not impressed with the size of them and not being able to tell exact come on not being able to tell exactly what size they were i'm disappointed that they're this small 
And especially for $15. Even if I did get one free, $15 is a bit much for a 30 by 35. That's my opinion. I don't know. What do you think? I think that's a bit pricey for this size. I don't know. It would have been 40 by 50 at least, you know. But anyhow, it's this vase. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. It's a vase of lilies. The lilies are beautiful. They're probably stargazer lilies. And they're beautiful pink lilies in a nice urn type vase. It's a very pretty picture. This one will probably turn out. This one will probably be okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Frog in my throat. So I think that one will turn out in this size. Just the nature of what it is. The other one, though, with the snowman, that one I, I don't hold out much hope for. I think that's going to be very pixelated. You can't read Merry Christmas to save your life. I mean, yeah. All right. Oh, this one is not in a Ziploc. This one's just taped up like this. They're still really nice bags, so either way, this one's a nice bag as well. So um, these colors, okay, these colors are beautiful. I mean, we've just got a white. But then look at all of these pink, purple colors. I'm just going to lay them out here. Mobs of all kinds of different shades. Some more pinks, really bright pinks, bright pink, purple. And this is in the mauve family. Another light pink. And then we have, this is super light pink. And then we have like leaves and grays and stuff like that. So there's, oh, we got drills. Ooh, we got drills, pink drills. Little pink drills. I don't know where they're coming from. Better check that out. Anyhow, there's the colors. They're really pretty. Really pretty colors. Love that. And here's the picture. It's actually two little vase, two vases or two urns. There's a little one at the bottom. We didn't open up the bottom. I wonder if we can see that one. I could tell there were flowers on the urn. I just didn't, I didn't get to the bottom to see if you can see the little small urn. Everything's been checked again. Um, it doesn't tell how many colors any of these have, and I just don't feel like counting them, so. There you go. Let's, uh, let's flip this over real quick. Let's see where these drills are coming from here in a minute. But, um, let's see if we can see the little urn at the bottom. Because we didn't open up the bottom. It's over here. Let's give it a... Let's give it a go. See what we see. See if you can tell. Oh, I think you can. I think this one will turn out. Yeah, there's the little urn at the bottom. See, you could. I could see the flowers. I could see the flowers. Here, let me hold it up. I could see the flowers on the urn, on the big urn. I just didn't know there was a small urn at the bottom, but there is. I think it'll turn out. This one will turn out. It'll be fine. And it's got beautiful colors. I just wish their sizing was better. Um, they explained it better. And I don't think that $15, if you were just buying this canvas for $15 and it's a 30 by 35, I don't think that's the best deal. But, you know, I spent like $30 for the whole lot. So I'm, I must have gotten the small one free but my hobby store. All right, I'll link it below and you guys can check it out and see what you think. See if you can figure out the sizing any better than I could because it's really confusing. But anyhow, that's what I got. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button if you liked it. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to like everything, but you know, you know what I mean. Subscribe, all those things, but thanks for watching.